A health alert tonight about lead in baby food. A new report reveals that 20% of samples tested over the past decade had detectable levels of lead. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parth and Andy, joins us right now. Lead is nothing to mess around, so are these harmful levels of lead? So, Stephen, uh, over 2,000 baby food samples were collected by the FDA between 2003 and 2013. None of the levels of lead found in the baby foods that were tested exceeded the allowable levels. But the concern is, as you asked, is how much the child may consume over time, and that could be significant. So, so were certain foods, was there a difference? Did some have higher levels than others? Yeah, so I knew lead was uh, found in fruit juices showing up in 89% of grape juice samples. It was also found in root vegetables like carrots and showed up in 86% of sweet potato samples. My son loves sweet potatoes, so it's important to, for me to see that. And lastly, the toxic metal was detected in 47% of teething biscuit samples. And I know lead is something that doesn't leave the system very easily either. So uh, uh, how can lead affect children? Why is it so dangerous? So Stephen, lead is highly toxic and can harm or kill developing brain cells in babies. It affects one's ability to pay attention and causes problems with the immune system and cardiovascular system. The Center for Disease Control has said that low levels of lead can actually affect IQ and academic success. Sadly, as you said, we cannot correct or reverse the damage from lead exposure. So what should we do now? What are your prescriptions? Yeah, some prescriptions. So number one, help minimize a child's lead exposure by having them eat a variety of fruits and vegetables. We know that a healthy diet can actually help reduce lead absorption, so serve foods rich in calcium and iron and vitamin C. Also, any child under the age of one does not need fruit juice. Children older than one should limit how much they drink. And then finally, caregivers can contact baby food brands and ask that their products be lead free. A place like Flint, we knew where the lead was coming from in our food. Where is it coming from? It's not native in food. Important question. So it's not clear how lead is showing up in baby food, but the FDA says lead can come from our environment, getting absorbed by food crops, planted in contaminated soil, and baby food is also processed, so there's more possibility that processing could play a role as well. Wow. It just can't be a safe level. I mean, even though they say it's minute, it's just not a safe Still level. So just there. call your brands and say, you know what, I'd like to have it lead free, and that's the key. That All right, is. All right doctor, thank you. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, drnandy at wxyz.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.